And welcome back, my disciples. We are continuing to look for a new carpenter for Mid, Sid's daughter, who wants to build a workshop in um, the main base area. Hey, buddy, what's up? I bet the lad who saved my life. What brings you to a place like this? You do, Bernard. Martha said I might find you here. I have a proposition for you. Oh, do you know? Fade to black as explaining situation. Building a workshop, you say? <laughs> well, that beats tacking boards to bridges, sure enough. And if Martha didn't mind me being gone a while, then neither do I. You just tell me where you want me. <laughs> That's the spirit. I, uh, I couldn't. Of course. Ooh, that poor village over there. Well, that there is Cressida, where I grew up. Ain't much left of it now, though. Except my parents' graves. But I, I came up here hoping to visit. I even patched up the bridge to get across. Only to find the place crawling with thieves. But you're a dab hand when it comes to dealing with beasts and... It's the least I can do. Thank you. Yep, I shall clear out the village for you. This shouldn't take long. Coming through. Oh. Nice. That came out of nowhere. Give me your face. Smack you in the face of the wing. That should do it. <laughs> you made short work of that lot. Oh, this store looks so cool. Thank you, son. Now my folks can rest in peace once more. Yes, indeed. 
How long is it since the village was abandoned? Well, people started packing their things after the duchy fell. Between the blight and the Imperials, you just couldn't make ends meet. Fair enough. Must be nigh on a decade since the last wagon left. Though it may as well have been a century, looking at the place. It's in the Cressida I remember. I'm sorry. Ah, don't be. Can't live in the past, no matter how nice it might have been. As soon as I'm done saying a prayer for those that raised me, it's on to your hideaway. Thank you. you I'll see you there, my friend. That should take care of Mid's little list. Better head back before she thinks of anything else. Hmm. I wonder what's that all the way over here. Rather nice music for a place that's so dreary and depressing. That angel is home. Hello, angel. Hi. How are you? Long day. Hello. Doing some recording. Um, brief recount of, of what happened. Um, um, we found Kupka. He briefly captured us, but we managed to stop him. Okay. For some reason, Togol now has magic powers. Aww. And he became sort of like a... Like a... I don't even know how to describe it, but some sort of like lightning dog or something. He just like sent lightning everywhere, but we don't know what's happening with that yet. Um, <laughs> Um, I defeated Kupka and de-armed de him, as in I literally cut off his hands. Um, I stole his power, but then someone weird showed up and then called me by Mythos and took him away. Oh, I hate it. Oh, okay, Mythos is starting to get, like, creepy. Yes, it's, it's very weird. But now, um, Sid's daughter has a, has returned to the but he hideout. A, he has a kid? Oh, that's right. You weren't there. Yes. Um, there was a side quest where you could um, retrieve a letter for him that a courier had lost, and it was from his daughter, Aww. who he, she was a good engineer, and he sent her to study at university, mm -hmm. and she made the filters for the hideout so that way they could drink clean water without like the blight that's in the water infecting everybody. Aww. And so now she's here, and we're setting up a workshop, and... the. The best way I can describe her is that she has picky pie levels of energy, just not the like the world breaking. She is like very energetic and happy, and she left um, one of the um, people Clive was talking with with the bill for the ferry, and before just running off, oh and, and he was just like, "Oh, for the love!" Oh my God, I she, love that. Yes, and she she definitely kind of has like that easy creativity energy. I can just see it already. Is this her? Yep. Oh my God, she's cute. Yeah. Oh, Bernard, yes, so Is she, is she doing okay? Um, she is kind of worn out after um, the battle, especially because they put us in these like anti-dominant handcuffs for a while. Oh, so, yeah. It, it, it looked to be kind of painful when they were on when you first put it on, but oh, yeah. yeah. But the doctor had basically ordered her to now actually get some rest. Mm -hmm. 
was she able to like recover between the battle with the um the one that you just fought and the other um, yeah. like culty guy? Yeah, she was feeling better. Oh yeah, she's got her she's got her mark mm-hmm. off too. Yeah. Apparently, they actually needed to surgically remove the marks. I heard. I heard that there was actually, like, poison in those things. Oh. Yeah, so you had to be very, very careful when you were doing it. Otherwise, the poison sack could break. Makes sense. You know, have a way to kill the yeah. the bearer in case they started to rebel. It makes an, unfor- it makes an unfortunate, kind, dark kind of sense. And it explains why makeup would not help with that. Well, makeup probably still could, but yeah. like just cutting it off normally. Yeah. A good dog. As if we a good, potentially magic dog. As if there was any way to make. Who would have thought there would be ways to make Torgal even more fabulous? Yes. Though he looks normal again now. It was sort of. It was almost like he like partial prime, sort of like um Sid used to do. Okay. But so, but I don't really know if that was it. Uh, just, just checking. No quest at the moment. I just had this mental image. Imagine if he like even does like a partial, partial prime, and you said he was like lightning. Does he get all fluffy when that happens? I feel like that'd be so cute. Maybe I'll, I'll have to wait until um, I until it happens again, or until I post the video so you can see it. It'll likely be like part fifteen or sixteen or so. Okay. Alright, let's talk to you. What do you need, my person? Preparation of a draft to dull the pain. Something oh. I can't do with the infirmary's ammonia supply so low. What few leaves we have will barely be enough for removing a splinter, let alone a brand. Yeah, really. <laughs> Just tell me what you need. You, you got no one knows her blood like Taya, and she swears by ammonia for easing pain. It's simple enough, and fortunately for you, I do. Along the river near the village of Amber over in Rosaria. Just search. Will do. And I'm just going to double check where one of the uh, monsters is before I head over there. Or one of the um, like super strong monsters are. I guess the... Uh... Hi! Yeah. Hello buddy, how you doing? Okay, it is west of... Raymond's ride. Yeah, I guess you know. All in all, the the mark, the scar that's left by removing the mark is far less noticeable. Can have more explanations. Yeah. You're like, oh yeah, you know, it's a birthmark. I was burned. I. I was attacked by a monster. Exactly. That, that, actually, that's probably the most likely excuse because, you know, the monsters are literally everywhere. Yeah. It's like, I was attacked by a giant hornet. Ah! Panic. Be panic. Yeah. Be panicked. That's what I'll be right back. I'm going to get changed, get something to eat, and just 
then I'll be back to join you. I've got a little bit of time before the book club meeting happens. All right. <laughs> Okay, so should be right over the bridge up here. Sorry for that brief diversion, was just trying to find Random magically appearing chocobo. Okay, let's avoid the giant scorpions. Bad killer B. What is this thing over here? I don't remember seeing that before. He's the same as the one back at the hideaway. Doesn't seem to be working now. Huh. Wonder if that'll be something that gets activated later. For like, you know, like an optional super boss kind of thing. Says it's in the west. Maybe it's up in the town area? Hmm, I'm going to find this creature, whatever it may be. Time to fight. Bad killer bee. There we are. Do, 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 do. Sorry, tiny little birds. Didn't mean this could startle you. Dab. Okay, maybe it's not over here. Yeah, I'm looking for the uh, monster. The, the, like the strong one. Oh, I figured that much. Yeah. It just says that it's in the west part of this part of the map, I think. Okay. Doesn't give much other description. Oh, is that it? No, that's just a minotaur?
Yes. Uh, I'd like to save the one with the chocolate sprinkles. That was, yeah. um, I'd like mm. to save that one for me. But the other one, you can have. I think you'll like it. It's got peanut butter. Ah, okay. I will do my best to remember. Mm hmm. I might need to go back to the hideaway briefly. Hello. Yep. Yeah. 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 Okay, watching you run on this giant dodo bird is actually pretty hilarious. Yeah. Um, I feel like I need to go back to the hideaway to double check the actual name of the place that I'm supposed to be looking around in. Oh nope, there it is. Hello. Thanks, girl. Hey, man. Secret. Or, I don't know how to pronounce that name. Secret. Secret. Sekarov's deformed cousin. Oh. Miss me. Give me your face. Totally dodged that. Oh, honestly. I thought he was There, that'll help. Miss me. The oh, raging ball. Well, you do have a you do have a rapidly flowing. 
Give me your face. There we go. Notorious Mark Slain. Yeah. Your phone is dinging. <laughs> yeah, we're really close to the village, so. Yep, that's one of Titan's abilities, and it's basically after 20-some hours playing the game, I finally have the ability to actually block attacks rather than just dodge them. <laughs> Good job. Hawks Cry Cliff. Shocking. I do love the Willow Wisp because it also um, blocks um, damage as long as it's active. Yeah. Yeah, that's like when it first came up, I was wondering if it would have said Willow of the Wolves and it was like Portal Powers, because that would be really poorly at the answer is yes. No, we're still, we're still trying to figure out what's even going on with Portal at the moment. But let's face it, if he had a power called Willow of the Wolves, that would be a what that would be a quality punk. Yes. Smashing. Bad bug. There we go. And then pick up the random elements. This is the only plant around here with blue flowers. Just the right one. We don't have to keep the infirmary stopped for a while. Search the dragon ivory for the party. We okay. Going to go do the other side quest before delivering the medicine leaves. We're gonna see what we're gonna carry to. Don't mind me just having a brief carrot. <laughs> Magically appearing chocobo. Let's go hopefully save some people from being eaten by goblins. Time 
Come with me and you'll be on fire. Stop casting magic at my face. Something about the noises he makes when using that ability is kind of funny. I don't know why, it just it sounds like he's really like he really just has to go bathroom and it's like <laughs> Yep. You've been stoned, my friend. <laughs> mm. I can say that now that I have Titan's abilities. All right. All right. Ooh. Who are you? I'm a Sid. Mm. A friend. Are there any more survivors? Mm. Why didn't you flee with the others? If the goblins had made it through that door, you wouldn't have stood a chance. Why should we run? One miserable death's no worse than another. Oh. Perhaps. Mm. But we're here to give you another choice. Freedom, safety, the life you've been denied. Sid, I, I couldn't just let you. <sighs> you weren't too late then. Think this man risked his life to save yours. To give you a second chance. Mm -hmm. Do with this what you will. What we'll do with you um. is take you to safety. There's no Brooks and I don't seem to realize that we're offering him a chance to not be killed. I know, I know. Leave the rest to us, Sid. We'll get everyone back to the hideaway. Thank you. I'll let Doris know we're expecting new arrivals. All right. Mm. And that should be all the quests for the moment. So let's head back to the hideaway and get on with it. Away. Dramatic zoom in on the map. Hello. Sid, welcome back. If I just waited, or maybe I wouldn't. I keep Cole and the others got home safely. No, I was lucky. I've been tracking that slaver for months, and then I said, Cole and you, after what kind of leader sends people into danger? With I should have urged greater caution. Told Cole to be wet. We swore the same oath as you, Doris. It's good to see you safe and well. Come with all due respect. We curse breakers don't risk our lives because you commanded of us. We risk them because we believe in our cause. Mm -hmm. One with doubts ever joins our ranks. The agony of removing the brand more than cease to that. We all know how much bravery that takes. Cole. I never <laughs> doubted your cut. Thank you for your faith in me. I sometimes wonder if I might prefer to risk death alongside the others than ask it of them. But. I'm a curse breaker. I swore an oath too. I have a role to play, and I must trust that I'm the right one to play it. You will. In time. You got this. <laughs> yep. Yeah. <sighs> Weight of command, and I level up. Hooray! I think. Oh wait, no. I'm really close to leveling up. Which means I might just level up after 
going to deliver the medicine leaves. Ooh, let me see what we got here. Oh, <laughs> I'm thinking, oh, this is a cute style of rainbow. Now she's like, oh dear God, she's standing on Twilight's head. <laughs> rainbow being savage. I love the tag for confused. It's over six thousand times. That's great. This is it, and more. You'll do fine. Taya trusts you. Thank you for the kind. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. The brand is more than just ink on flesh. It's a death sentence. Oh, here it is. Milk of the wyvern tail lurking just below the surface of the skin. Mm -hmm. Ill-conceived incision. A single slip. And the poison fouls the patient's blood. Failure means death. Yeah. And success means tremendous pain. Days of agony as the wound heals. I became a physica to help people, not to kill them. Curse breakers lead hard lives. And the operation is only the beginning. They toil in the shadows, risking life. And, and yet we never won for volunteers. What conviction? They're willing to fight, to give their lives to create a world where people like us can be more than mere possessions. I know your work isn't easy, but neither is going under the knife. Be a shoulder for your patience to lean on. <laughs> you sound like a tire. Do you know what she once told me? It's natural for a patient to feel like they're suffering in solitude. Oh. And it's a physicist's duty to see that they don't. Mm. Thank you for helping me remember that. I won't falter. Not again. You got this, my dude. Yep. <laughs> and Aww. then the adorable Twilight reading a book. Yeah, with a stack of books. <laughs> <laughs> Hooray, level up. What the pillow? What the. Aww. Oh, okay. okay, this is the blooper reel. What is it? It's, oh, oh wait, no, yeah, this is, it's them all dancing and yeah, and um, Pip falling over. Izzy just having a great time. Sparky doing his best. Hitch also falling on his bi and hoping nobody knows that. Like sweetheart, you are in the middle of the group. What do you think is happening? <laughs> All right. <laughs> what are we gonna find out about Mr. Doggo? I've been wanting to ask you something about Toggle. Hi. Where did you get him? Like, in the first place? Uh, my father brought him back from one of his expeditions into the Northern Territories. They were crossing a snowfield when they heard his cries, and seeing no sign of his pack, they took him in. What do you reckon, Tones? It certainly adds weight to the theory. What theory? I believe that Torgal may be no mere hound, but a rare frost wolf. Mm. Native to the far northern reaches of Vanisthea. Alright. In one of our oldest bestiaries, I found reference to a frost wolf who served as guardian to an ancient queen of the north. Such was his mastery over ether, he could cast magics on command. Oh, that's cool. His name was Fenrir. Hmm. Fenrir the Frost Disney. Wolf. Hi. That explains how Torgal's been able to cast um, cure spells on me. Mm -hmm. The animals do not state it explicitly, but I have reason to believe this queen was a dominant of Shiva. Oh. Ah. From the Northern Territories. That explains why Jill that was um because she was watching over Torgo for a time before everything went wrong. Jill granted Torgo his powers. Oh, that's awesome. What? Just like Fenrir. People called him my hound, but Torgo and Jill were inseparable. He grew up as a faithful companion to the dominant of Shiva, and years later. Powers awakened. What? Protecting Jill from being deheaded. Alright. If it weren't for Torgal blasting those bastards to kingdom come, Jill would have been for it. Quite. Though Torgal's power is his own. There. His latent birthright as a frost wolf 
It had only to be unlocked. Oh, get you, Torgal. <laughs> You're an even finer hound than we thought. Give <laughs> that a good boy. Bark. <laughs> Your original concern. You need not fear for Torgal's health. <laughs> Why the beast has the appetite of a behemoth? Just this very morn, I found him with his nose buried in my nuts. <laughs> <laughs> in my uh, nuts. Oh God. Taken out of context. Oh God. In my nuts. <laughs> I shall be a moment. I think sweetheart, sweetheart, I think you can broker your own introduction. You certainly have the uh, enthusiasm for it. Yeah. Craftsman noises. <laughs> yeah, I think I remember someone, so someone just constantly replaying that clip of "In my nuts," and it's just like, "Oh dear God." In my nuts. <laughs> He said it so enthusiastically too. <laughs> It'd be brilliant. Oh my gosh. I wonder what this place is gonna be used for. Well I couldn't have done it without you. You and everyone else. But I promise I'll pay you back. I'm gonna work my fingers to the bone for you, lot. Starting right now. She's adorable. Just you wait. I'll make wonders like this world's never seen. Then I look forward to seeing them. <laughs> Um, what's your name again? Mid. Mid. Mid and Sid. Of course. <laughs> of course. Now that that's settled, I wonder if Vivian's made any progress tracking down Koopka. Thanks for letting me do this, Clive. I'll pay you back, I promise. I still want to know what exactly this entire place is going to be used for. Are you going to actually, like, fix this ruin and turn it into an airship? Because that would be awesome. That would be amazing. Yep, we'll, we'll give a whole new meaning to the phrase, fly me to the moon. <laughs> did she and did, um, she and Sid ever like actively both appear on screen together? No, just... unfortunately, she was away at, at college during most of the game. Damn, I would have loved to see the two of them in our we have myriad sightings of strange soldiers in unexpected places, but nothing definitive as yet. If only we knew for certain by what route he left Rosalind. Well, keep at it. If anyone can piece this puzzle together, it's you. And I'm willing to wait as long as it takes. Thanks, Vivian. All right, where to now? Um, just a little bit further into the library, I think. <laughs> Here. Would that be a problem? Clive! Do you know, Clive? I believe it a mercy that you didn't inherit your father's throne. Your poor people would surely live in fear of you. Oh! <laughs> you have nothing to worry about on that front. I won't be claiming his crown. Hmm. That is a relief. Um. What happened now? Have you got a minute? Yeah, what's up? We, um, have a guest. Oh? A guest? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay. Hello? Is that... Oh, no. Let's go! Oh, yay! I saw the hood and my first thought was, oh. I go by really? Hey, the boy! Tough a cask and stoke the ovens for your favorite uncle is here. Oh, my God. <laughs> How did you find us and what are you doing here? Right, I'm a little bit concerned. Look at him. He's so happy. He did give us a boat to get us to the Volcano Island. Okay. So, he is, he is fun and, you know. Oh, I guess we're getting a meanwhile again. Yep, meanwhile. Oh, God. <sighs> Twin side, Holy Emperor of Oh. Seat of the Imperial Court, which I'm guessing is the new one since they moved it from where we previously destroyed it. Oh, 
Timely intervention talking with Titan. What? Isn't are they referring to the time when the Duchess showed up in the middle of that council meeting? I don't think so. Because he because the kid didn't the kid was there, but he didn't really do much. I don't think that was what it was referring to. This is Something odd is going on here. Something is definitely wrong. Even the prince doesn't seem good. And meanwhile, this this psycho lady. And the kid is just non-responsive. Yes. If he's not asleep, but he's just slouched over her like that. It's yeah. weird. What is it with him and this flower? I don't know. Does he eat it? No. Last time, though, he put it back on the plate. What if the... What if the... Wait, look at his face. What if that flower is doing something to him mentally? Concern? I don't know, something is off about this entire thing. I think it has some effect on him, like a drug or something? Potentially. Maybe addicted to puffing flowers? <gasps> oh. oh no. Oh god, I'm starting to think that the wife has convinced him that her new hair is better then suited he, for the crown than he is. Oh no, if that flower is... If that flower is... has psychedelic effects, that could influence how well he performs. Yeah. Also, just her little smile is like... Uncomfortable. The fact they're zooming in on the flower... Shows that something is wrong. They are manipulating him and then trying to get rid of the sun. Annabelle's. Isn't that the wife? Yeah, this this one's name. Oh, She's influencing everybody. Stop it! Stop 
it. He doesn't even seem to be engrossed in what he's playing with. He's just moving that thing around. I'm just hoping that... I'm just hoping that Phoenix can get to the prince before something happens to him. Cause, oh boy! Because because while he's definitely might not be a good a good guy, he definitely doesn't seem to be inherently evil from everything we've learned about him so far. All right. But fingers crossed. Yeah, but for now we will we will pause our adventure there, and we shall continue in the next episode. Commercial message. Yep, be right, be back, my pie disciples.